What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a brand new video. What I have in store for you guys today is the war against artillery fire, Fortune Steel versus artillery fire. And this was an arranged war because we were very, very, very late to the potluck spin uh, from over the weekend. So we did a quick arranged war with these guys. It was a 515 break. Yes, it was a 515 breakdown. Huge shout to them. I personally had not heard of this clan until uh, we did this arranged war. So huge shout to them for working with us, getting the breakdowns. Um, very, very close war. 114, 114, as you guys saw it on the screen. They did very, very well 10v11, clearing our 11s with their Town Hall 10s. They had five 10v10 triples, and miraculously, they were not able to clear Tadpole's base for the first time in Fortune Steel history. His base was not cleared. Uh, they had one, they had to dip one nine, uh, so not a big deal, but they played a good, I mean, they played a, a, a pretty solid war. We did have an 11v11 triple, which gave us a huge edge uh, because we were not able to buckle down. We only cleared three out of the five 11s with our Town Hall 10s. Uh, that was the base right there that we left one star. unfortunately. We had five 10v10 three stars as well. I will be showing you guys each and every one of those. Stay tuned. I did have a 10v10 triple this war, so definitely stay tuned for that. We will show you guys one uh, Town Hall 9 attack, as always. Um, and I do want to give a big shout out right here. Let's go ahead and hit replay. I want to give a big shout out to JJ. He just joined the Forge from Steel family. Not only that, the dude has not failed yet. I think he's done three, maybe four wars with us. Hit rate is 100% right now and doing it a little different. I don't know how many times I have to tell you guys, I absolutely love non-meta attacks. Attacks you do not see every day. Uh, I mean, we love the hog attacks. You know, we love the lolos and all that good stuff, but it's the attacks you just don't see. We're doing a Grundinator on this one, bringing one P.E.K.K.A. And I mean, these attack strategies are solid. I'm not sure why more people don't use them. I'm telling you, you got to think outside the box sometimes. So we have JJ, AKA Banana, worst account name in the world, but yes, this is JJ. You might know him from Dragon Rejects. Huge shout to him, doing the Grundy. Falling with the queen from three o'clock coming down. Pekka King, uh, falling with the baby dragons, meeting up all at six o'clock right here. He, uh, on his attacks, he's bringing three rage and one heal, already deployed one of those. Heal right there in the core, just to highlight how overpowering this attack is. Pekka, a few Valkyries and King end up walking. Um, even the Hound Pop, but we do have Queen in the core. We got Bowlers in the core, all under Rage. Uh, look at these Rock Skips doing freaking work inside of this base. And while his troops are inside the core, he, uh, the, enemy, he, the enemy King is going to aggro all of his troops up north. And if, as you guys see, they're going to kind of meet up uh, with the troops that decided to go shopping around the base. They're all kind of, they're all kind of meet up up here at the north side of the base and this base just completely collapsed on itself. Uh, huge shout to JJ, getting it done. We're gonna be times two and or times in four a lot of the ends uh, of these attacks just because we have a lot of attacks to get through. We do have a 10v10, uh, no, we have five 10v10s to get through. Uh, we'll go ahead and jump into that. I do have a 10v11 to show you guys. And the last attack will be the 11v11 triple from none other than Cody, he's red hot right now. This is an attack coming from Clayton Bigsby, AKA, yes, you guessed it, from Cody doing work, getting a, a nice cheap funnel right there with just a few minions uh, jumping right into the space. He's gonna go ahead and take out enemy king. He's gonna take out enemy queen. He's gonna take care of the enemy CC troops and a classic jump and a raid for the kill squad. Bowlers doing work inside this base. They're even gonna get that Bomb tower, yes, the bomb tower does in fact go down, carved a beautiful path for the hogs, uh, which he will be deploying up at the top of the base. Once he sees that he's gotten the core defensive defenses taken care of, here comes the hogs bringing CC hogs. Notice he usually starts with his own hogs, his camp hogs first, so they can absorb some of the traps, takes you know some of the initial heat from the damage, and that way the max hogs 
come flying in untouched and start ripping through these defenses. The army pathing around the base clockwise and went ahead and deployed the second heal spell. First heal spell was up at the top. Uh, and on a tricky base like this where you see the infernal towers in the core, plus you see that there's two Tessas in the core, uh, very, very tough to get them, but he does have a really, really nice split for these hogs. Uh, and he does have, he even has some scale, uh, ground scale. He's chasing his hogs down. But with the few defenses left up where the hogs end down at 6 o'clock, way too much for them to handle. Even ending on a giant bomb, getting it done, started clean up nice and early. And nothing but clean up. We'll go ahead and times four this. And now the next attack we're going to check out. Uh, and huge shout to Cody. Dude has been putting in work and forged some steel. Huge shout to him. And we will check his Lumber Living 3 star at the very end of the video. Now we're going to go ahead and check out, yes, you guessed it. Uh, the 10v10 3 star from Riggs, aka me, and using hogs. I mean, we have to use hogs. That is what is working right now. Uh, the best, in my humble opinion, right now at Town Hall 10, Kill Squad and or Queen Charge Hogs. We're doing a shattered entry up here at the top, funneling uh, with wizards on either side. Only using five wizards of the funnel, pretty cheap funnel. Uh, queen coming down, and we do have uh king that will be joining up and we do have five bowlers that will be heading into this base went ahead and jumped straight in and we'll have a nice lead in rage to go ahead and make sure we're going to get a couple expos we can get the bomb tower we're going to take care of the damage cc uh the king and the queen so we got huge value from this kill squad right here and once we see that the kill squad has done enough work and they kind of broke the defensive ring before we go ahead and start our hogs uh, this archer tower was distracted on a golem that was doing absolutely nothing for the kill squad just dropped two hogs but look everything is distracted those two hogs not only take out the archer tower but they even take out the bomb tower once i saw that i went ahead and dropped in uh two thick groups of hogs to target each one of these wizard towers followed up by a heal spell we do have the cc hogs coming in on the tesla and the mortar uh down here at five o'clock they're gonna meet up with the main group uh, we do still have two more heal spells. There's the second one. So we have one more heal spell. We do still have quite a few defenses to get through on this base. So we got to place this next heal spell perfectly. There it goes, covering the Teslas, covering the Archer Towers, and covering the Bomb Tower, and hitting some nasty springs. I'm going to tell you guys, this base had some disgusting springs. Not disgusting for the defender, but disgusting for the attacker, flipping all kinds of hogs. But on the back end, just have one cannon and one Tesla for um, the defenses and, and one mortar. Air defense ain't be doing too much. Um, but yeah, we're going to end this with just enough hogs to get through these final defenses. And again, just like uh, Cody's attack ending on a giant bomb, uh, was a really, really tough base. Uh, that one did a, a absorb quite a few defenses. Um, but we ended up getting it down. Huge shout out to me. It's always nice when I get to make it into my own war recaps feels really really good uh even swagged a poison meant to bring a skeleton spell but that stayed in the queue brought two poison spells on accident didn't feel like swagging it um because i screwed up okay now we're gonna go ahead and check out we have tadpole we got tadpole coming in on hail hydra and doing uh sui hero lalo i mean why not i know a lot of people are using hogs it's the most popular attack right now at tunnel 10 it's the attacks that people are building their bases to defend against the most they have hogs not a, not only in the back of their mind but in their front of their mind as well um so tad switch it up doing a sui hero lalo as we do know there is a hound in this cc it's either a hound or a golem i can't remember but it was it was a heavy cc it was not a damage cc so we went ahead and did a sui hero lalo starting his heroes down here at six o'clock they're going up went ahead and took out archer tower a Tesla and two air defenses. So he got very, very uh, good value uh, for that Sui Hero Lalo, and he is packing two skeleton, uh, two skeleton spells to go ahead and take care of the enemy queen a little later on in the raid. Pre-dropping two haste, dropping down uh, two hounds uh, to start. Um, and we see he does have three groups of loons and he does have a few loons up on the side up there at about 2.30 heading in this base raging right there in the core and he does still have uh, quite a few loons left to deploy even swagged hound I highly highly doubt he meant to drop that hound up there at 2 o'clock uh, just to tank those archer towers 
Um, but regardless, he is going to get it done, dropping in some more loons up there at the top and targeting uh, the Wizard Tower with the other group of loons over there at about, um, at about 10 o'clock. They went ahead and took out the Wizard Tower, taking out the Archer Tower. He has another raid spell, gets a nice split. Uh, they collapse the Inferno Tower in one shot. Uh, and right here, Tadpole at his finest, execution at his finest, dropped the uh, Distraction Loon about a second too late. But regardless, dude ended with all kinds of loons. Uh, Tesla dig away from him up there at one o'clock. Is not gonna matter. We're gonna times four this. Like I said, we still got a couple more attacks to get through uh, before we, we uh, wrap up um, this recap. Huge shout to Tadpole, guy's doing work. Um, and he's not, he's still refusing to use hogs. Um, but he's getting 10 10 three star. Uh, now, next up, we have Fuzz, aka D's Nuts, um, really favoring the miners. That, that is an attack, that is an, the miners are an attack strategy right now that I, I, I'm pretty confident in saying no one is building their bases to defend miners at all. Fuzz is taking advantage of that. You guys are going to see what I'm talking about uh, when we watch this replay. Uh, and this attack is ending. This was damn near a sub two minute raid uh, using miners. Went ahead and is kind of doing a naked queen walk over at nine o'clock, walking up, dropping down the golem right in front of her. And notice when right when he started the golem and the queen over on the uh, nine o'clock side, king down at the six o'clock side, he'll be pathing up. He did not wait for the heroes to go down or anything like that. Once the heroes were dropped, he went ahead and sent his miners into this base straight away. He is bringing five heal spells to this attack. And for those of you wondering, uh, watching this, uh, the bases that you know we're really seeing this on are kind of square layouts, single shot Inferno Towers, and uh, Hound CCs are the bases that we're seeing this used on the most. And check it out guys, even though his queen is down, she pretty much trimmed all the defenses and helped funnel um, all the miners in. Look at how far she got. You can kind of see there, see her up there at the top of the map. And King, uh, he barely popped King's ability as the miners are making their way to the back end of the base already. Went ahead and dropped his fifth and final heal spell. Um, and he got all kinds of value from that King. And he did, uh, he missed the, he did try to do more, uh, do a uh, bowler bounce on the mortar that's up there at about two o'clock. He got the one over there at 11. Um, but regardless, um, taking advantage of this base layout using miners. I'm telling you guys, definitely give miners a try, especially if you're used to using them. It's not as mindless and brainless as some would think as far as getting your, I mean, it's spammy, but uh, you have got to have the heal spells in the right spots. Um, but anyway, huge shout to Fuzz. Now we'll go ahead and check out our fifth and final 10v10 three star coming from this war. This one's coming from Luke, uh, also doing a Sui Hero Lalo. So we had two of them this war, starting his heroes over here at three o'clock on the far right hand side of the base, um, getting a nice wall break. Uh, King's gonna go ahead and take out that Archer Tower. He's gonna also get that Tesla funneled for the Queen perfectly. She's gonna get this Wizard Tower, uh, the Expo and the Tesla before he goes ahead and starts uh, the Lolo portion. He is bringing one heal, two rage, and uh, he is bringing four haste spells and uh, one of his own skeleton spells and a max skeleton donated in the CC, pre-dropping four haste spells down before he starts his loon deployment. There goes the first hound, uh, dropping loons on, not only on the wizard tower, but on the archer tower. Another hound coming in down here uh, at about uh, seven o'clock. And again, those haste spells do last longer than you think. That's why I we went ahead and pre-dropped them even on the other side. Uh, notice he didn't really have like a, a, a any specific rotation clockwise or counterclockwise. Just kind of sent in hounds and loons uh, starting over on the bottom right all the way up to the upper left hand side of this bla uh, of this base. Getting a nice split. Uh, did have two rages right there in the core. A heal spell over the wizard tower. And he is going to get a nice split up here. He only has a couple more defenses left. Uh, they kind of got stuck on that wizard tower a little bit, uh, but that balloon did tank and he does still have the maxed hound um, still up. Pops at the last second. Imagine that, uh, that, that maxed hound did pop at the very last second by the Tesla. 
Um, just helping him, just helping himself out, getting more cleanup. Huge shout out to Luke. Nothing but good things he's done for Fortune Steel since he came over from Dark Avengers. Um, okay, now we're going to go ahead and check out one of our 10 to 11 attacks. This one is coming from Kala Drilling. Uh, just going to be doing a solid bowler smash. Uh, and what made this attack that much more special is this one was a fresh hit. So again, big shout out to him. Dropping out a giant to tank. We did expect that there were Teslas over on the corners. Did get the wall popped right here. Dropped his wall breakers a second too early. And they, those wall breakers completely ate um, that mortar. So he did have a wall breaker fail over there at three o'clock, but he is gonna do his best to make the most of it. Went, went ahead and decided to rage up that group over there uh, at three o'clock. Gollum in the front, dropping on about five bowlers uh, just to help set this funnel for the main push. Here comes the next Gollum up at 12 o'clock. Again, five more bowlers followed up by another rage. Just a solid uh, bowler smash. And we did times for the beginning of this as there were quite a bit of um, free buildings that he picked off with some archers and with minions. Um, so right here, so he's at 30% before he even has the main group coming in. So very, very solid. Uh, jump spell leading right in. And you'll see he went ahead and decided to attack on the Eagle Artillery side of the base for good reason. Dropping down the heal spell, saving his rage uh, for all the high DPS inside this core. And whether the Queen went in or not, as you see, she didn't, as always. Um, she's a bitch. But the bowlers were able to take out the Town Hall from over the wall, as you see. And he is going to be ending this attack, you guys, at 54%. There it goes. Uh, could not believe Queen didn't go in, but it didn't matter. He had all kinds of bowlers and did have bowlers, uh, max bowlers coming out of CC. Huge shout to him. Now we'll go ahead and get into the last attack we'll be uh, covering from this war against Artillery Fire. Uh, we have Rudy with GI, aka Cody, taking on Nicasio Top. Um, and again, with the attack that we're seeing more and more, you guys, is this queen walk bitch attack. It's good for anti twos. It's great for anti threes. Uh, queen up there at 11 o'clock where he does want her to walk down. That is where he, he's going to be dropping his kill squad pretty much on that camp uh, once he sees that the queen has kind of set the funnel uh, as he does want his main group to kind of path um, from 9 o'clock heading down to 6 and wrapping around uh did break in and he did go ahead and drop a rage spell uh for this queen charge right here and he's gonna be jumping straight into this base bringing all kinds of bowlers witches and bowlers are gonna be trimming all of the trash and getting all the defenses from right over the wall keeping his main push going through the core of the base and we do have a damage cc coming out uh it went ahead and targeted the queen uh but he does have a poison spell waiting for him making sure he gets the witch uh, inside that poison spell, so good execution there. And just raging up uh, this huge group, Warden ability right over those wizard towers and the Inferno Tower. Uh, and he did have, um, he did absorb a couple shots from the Eagle Artillery as well. Bowlers go ahead and throw some rocks right at the Eagle Artillery, taking it down. Uh, and I mean, just like that, uh, we will go ahead and times this. Um, it, it, you know, once the once the spells are all down, it's just kind of a slow rolling attack. Uh, starts off slow, goes really, really strong inside the core where all your spells are, and then it kind of slows down. But guys, look down below. Look at how many bowlers uh, he still has up. Um, great execution on, on this attack. Good base identification. Uh, Grand Warden still up as well. Um, and yeah, this is the attack, you guys, that is working. It's either this or Lalo. Uh, it's a toss-up between the two that's really, really crushing Town Hall 11s uh, going for that Lemby 11 3-star. Huge shout to Cody. We needed that attack to win this war, and that is exactly what we did. Uh, winning on a tie, 114 to 114. Uh, one interesting thing is right after this war, we did, because uh, this was a friendly war, this was an arranged war, right after this, we also matched them... Um, in a random spin so we just finished up that war um they uh, they were using cwl bases for that i believe they're in uh what rising i think i think they're in rising or something like that but a huge shout out to them best of luck to them in their season um and i want to give a shout out to all the subscribers for all you guys watch the video i love each and every one of you guys thank you for supporting the channel 
if you guys like the video make sure you like it subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and of course and again i really really hope you guys enjoy the video had a lot of fun as always this is riggs clashing ffs and i'll see you in the very next video